Guruji to everybody and Shukrana to Guruji. Um, I want to start off by saying that how it all started with me was um, I love to do seva no matter where I go, whether it's the Gurdwara or the Mandir. So I was in India in 2013 at um, a family friend's house and uh, I consider her my cousin. So she said she wanted to go to a friend's house because they're having a satsang, a puja. So I was like, okay, so I'll get an opportunity to do seva there too. It doesn't matter if I know them or not, I just, I like doing seva. So um, I went with her and it turned out to be Guruji satsang. And I didn't know who he was. I just went there because I wanted to go with her and I wanted to do seva. So um, I went there, I did seva. And in the end, um, uh, the person whose house we were at, um, they said that we are going to wait for Guruji's blessings. And uh, we waited. I'm not sure what the blessings were supposed to be, what we're supposed to do. And uh, I found out that um, the, the, the kapra that you put like in front of Guruji's uh, feet, it uh, showed om like uh, in the creases and I was surprised I was like okay that's kind of cool I didn't know what to think of it and um, so I was like okay so I didn't think much of it 2013 I went back home and uh, didn't think much of it um, I didn't go to the satsangs at all and all of a sudden last year my mom said on Guruji's birthday my mom said I want to uh, go to the satsang that's in Jersey and I said okay I'll take you just because she wants. She wanted to go. I didn't want to say no to her. So we went and all of a sudden I was like, wait, I've been to a satsang before of Guruji's. And then when we got home, I told her about it. And I also told her that the person whose house we went to, she gave me a pen with Guruji's uh, face on it. And I was uh, very surprised that I still kept it. It didn't hold any meaning to me even at that time because I didn't know anything about him. But I had it with me this whole time and all of a sudden I I just checked once in one of my drawers and I found it right away and I showed her I was like I still have it and she's like that's very surprising I'm like I'm surprised too and um, what I want to say is that I don't have some miraculous experience or anything like that but I know that everybody's on this journey that I'm on right now and the journey requires in Hindi I know how to say I don't know how to say it in English actually it's a uh, it requires shraddha and a lot of sabar so that means you have to be patient with everything and I learned that the hard way um, I'm not a very patient person but Guruji is teaching me again and again to be patient and I think that little by little we all learn that we need a little bit of patience in our lives with everything that we do so uh, little things that happen that I notice are that I, whenever I come, I don't have to ask every time. I just get seva, which is something that I love to do, like I've said. And I continue to do it. And um, I was standing here two weeks ago and uh, I was helping out with a few things. And I, in my mind, I was like, Guruji, I wanna, I'm a George Jalana Jatim. I want to, but I'm not gonna ask anybody, can I do it? And literally two seconds later, Ali Auntie was standing there. She's like, do you want to do it? I was like, I just looked at Guruji. I was like, okay, I just said that. And then um, she's like, do you want to do it? I was like, yeah, of course I do want to do it. Sorry. <coughs> I was like. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so I said that yes, I do want to do it, and I think I turned it off again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, so I did say that I wanted to do it, and I did do it. And again, today when I came in, um, I didn't think much of it, but Simanti was like, "Okay, you want to help me with this and that?" I was doing it. I did the jyot inside, and then she was like, do you want to light up the jyot again? I was like, Guruji, I didn't ask this time. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to, of course I want to, but I was like, I know everybody needs to get a chance. So I was like, okay, uh, of course I'll do it. And so I did, and then Simanti came up to me, she was like, do you have any like special thoughts? And I was like, no, but um, I just want to say that when you are here, just don't think 
that, oh, something's gonna have to happen right away in order for me to believe it. The thing is, I come here, I find peace, and that's the most important thing, to find peace in a place that's not known to you, that's new to you, and finding peace in a place like that is, to me, it's everything. Because the only other place that I find peace is, is at home. Other than that, this is like another home with Guruji, wherever he is. And um, just be patient and continue your journey. And uh, hopefully when I have a miraculous satsang, I can share that again later on. Um, other than that, thank you. Thank you, Guruji, Jai Guruji. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, I was a little nervous.